Today I'm back with another ship request. You guys wanted to see the A-Gear last video, and I can't blame you. We looked at uh, the Siegfried last time. May as well look at its counterpart. This one's now available for coal. Get it for 228,000 coal, no longer a free XP ship, uh, but certainly still available. Uh, it's a ship I haven't played. It's not one I'm particularly interested in, and we'll talk about that as we play through the games. The build I'm running with here kind of goes for DPM as well as concealment. We're going to try and flank. We're going to try and make use of the armor piercing here and uh, a pretty standard-ish build. Uh, maybe not survivability expert, but having all that extra health can come in handy here for a battle cruiser, uh, especially one that is reasonably tanky. We're probably going to be using gun feeder. Uh, grease the gears is always very valuable. Adrenaline rush, concealment and even top grade gunner. Uh, I don't really enjoy using outnumbered, but uh, maybe I'm sleeping on that skill a little too much. Uh, it just seems to be active in situations where I probably shouldn't be there in the first place. <laughs> that's uh, that's kind of how I view it, at least right now. 27 mil bow again, so we're gonna get overmatched like crazy through that. But we do have a decent amount of deck armor and specifically our upper belt is really, really nice. So if we're able to get it closer ranges where people aren't gonna have plunging fire and we're able to show enough broadside that people are baited into using this, hitting this armor belt, that's where we're gonna be pretty tanky. Um, so we'll see how it goes. I've never actually used these uh, 305s on the uh, German line. Um, I guess we'll see how they go. Actually, that's not true. I have used them in Mecklenburg and the Odin. I believe those two actually both have it, uh, but never on the Aegir, which they should be better here since uh, we get battle cruiser dispersion instead of battleship dispersion. Hopefully that's gonna allow us to land some accurate salvos since the secondaries, well, we all know what happened to Aegir secondaries. They were really good and <laughs> they kind of nerfed them down a little bit. Understandably so, I guess, but now that the commander changes have gone through, uh, we can no longer spec into them, so they're really not that useful. If you want a secondary cruiser, you really just go with Napoli. It's really what A-Gear was, and uh, they just decided to put it in the game a little later, just not for this ship. So let's play some games and uh, see how it goes. So before we get into things, I should mention that you guys should go in the comments down below and request whatever ship you want to see next in this series. I will try to play it at some point, and uh, we'll make another video. Upvote up whatever uh, comment you see that uh, matches the ship you want to see. Whatever is most upvoted, that is what I end up playing in the next video. In this case, we do have Arms Race, which is a little unfortunate, but maybe we're lucky in this one. There's some cruisers here, not a lot of battleships, so we can almost act as another battleship here. So for our team, considering we spawned middle here and our two battleships are kind of forced to the left side here based on spawns, not really sure why we didn't have one battleship here and one over here. But regardless, we'll go over to the flank without a battleship. That should allow us to do some pretty good things over here. Arms Race, of course, can buff our ship in some pretty nice ways. Extra health, extra reload. Um, we do want to be helping our destroyers win these early engagements. That's what uh, kind of determines these battles. It's a combination of getting as many buffs as possible, and then um, as well just winning those DD engagements early on. Uh, to get those buffs. You don't want a full YOLO for buffs, that's really not a good idea, but uh, you can't leave them alone either. Looks like we got a Mines to start with, fortunately he is turning away, so not much for us to do here yet. So I guess we'll just kind of look towards the middle and see if we can find... Uh... Oops. Okay, Tromp is over here, we see the airstrikes. We're gonna look to shoot at some of these DDs, our concealment here is pretty nice, actually. 11.9 uh, does allow us to engage at pretty close ranges without being spotted. So in this case, there's an Azashio here. I'm not sure about our Fletcher full sending it in for this. Uh, hopefully it does, he doesn't take too much damage. What I'm doing here is I'm actually just waiting for the Azashio to pick a turn to go. And you see how he's just opened up more broadside to us? That's when we want to be uh, shooting. That kind of guarantees a few more hits on target. And we get three. Uh, probably should add HE there, I suppose. But uh, it's all good. Fletcher does manage to live, which feels very good. Although, uh, actually, let's make sure we're not getting dwarfed here. Uh, it looks like... 
unfortunately, we lost our DD here. That makes things a little tricky. Mines is maybe coming out? Maybe not. We can wait. We can wait. Patience. Those could hurt, I suppose. They don't have a lot of pen, though. All right, AP, let's see what you can do. The ship is on fire. That's fine. Ah. <laughs> so it is a German ship. I see. I see. So maybe this is a good time to talk about why I've really never been all that interested in this ship. It has the battleship weaknesses without the strengths, I find. So you have bad dispersion. You have long reload. You're potentially pretty easily farmed and yet you don't have the overmatch and you don't have that absolute punching power and then for cruisers we just lack dpm compared to them it's this weird middle ground where just don't find them all that impactful these battle cruisers i know they can be good but i mean theoretically this is a very good game where we're able to go against cruisers and not really have to deal with battleships overmatching us all that much. I don't know. I'm not a huge fan. At least with things like Alaska or Puerto Rico, we can have a radar. Where with an egg gear like this, I mean, we're here to, to deal damage, right? And obviously we take a lot from fires here. <laughs> they just last forever on, uh, on these battle cruisers these days. Um... I guess we're going to turn around. I don't really feel like pushing into a mines so that's just going to farm us out for free here. Try there. Maybe he's uh, going to turn in. It's fine. I guess we'll kind of wait and see what he's going to do here. But yeah, it's uh, it's a little disappointing these days playing these uh, battle cruisers. I'm not a huge fan. All right, like here's here's a situation where playing a battle cruiser this is where you would expect to do good damage, right? It's a broadside light cruiser who's been farming you with HE, and uh, he's been able to do good things against us with that high explosive. And here we do get it, and we actually do get it. Um, I'm actually kind of surprised, but that is uh, technically possible. Oh, we're just gonna ground here. I'm trying to avoid these planes as much as we can. Oh, we got another one. Maybe it's more accurate than I thought. <laughs> that first little bit uh, threw me off a little bit. I still don't trust it. I still don't trust him all that much. Ah, yeah, unfortunate. I should have turned out. Wasn't exactly thinking there. Oh, hey, look at us. We avoided it. Um, having a DD around would be pretty cool. Allowing us to spot. That's where the... Radars are pretty nice. Yeah, that one will hit. Alright, that's fine. And I can't just blind fire over this. Uh, we have a Cleveland here. Why isn't he pushing and radaring? Okay, I just realized. <laughs> um, okay, he's got Hydro. And he's got a radar. Hooray! Secondary is going off. That's all right. One hit. Okay. We do have healing, right? We do have nice extras that other cruisers won't have. I just, if I'm going to play a cruiser, I want to have the DPM and the kind of battle impact to go in and crush DDs and that kind of thing and win games that way. Or farm battleships over islands with HE or even open water. Um, and that requires a little bit more DPM than these ships have. But if I want to play a ship that's going to crush broadsides and kill cruisers and do devastating strike salvos, it's really not these battle cruisers. They just don't have the alpha damage and consistency, I find. Contrary to what we did to that mines early on, I suppose. Looks like this game is somewhat going in our favor. Should have waited a little bit on that uh, back turret. Decent, a little damage in there. Try and take out the mines. That'd be really good for our team. He's going to turn out. 
100 HP, huh? Hopefully I led him properly. Okay. <laughs> we'll get him next time. And he gets a fire. All right. We'll get him next time. I got to kind of go for the uh, cap here. Okay, that one was poorly aimed. Fair enough. Fair enough. Massachusetts to deal with. Certainly spooky. I think those torps are fast enough for us. There we go. Should be all right here. Try and help on this tromp again. Again, we have enough damage taken to heal. We will. Turned out, that's fine. I suppose we do have, what, 1.9 million potential damage? A lot of that seems to come from the airstrikes, though. I don't really feel like we've actually tanked all that much. That's what I would assume has kind of happened here. Massachusetts. Don't really want to brawl you. Oh. Shooting HE. Interesting. And he gets a fire. Okay. That's fine. Gonna turn broadside. Try and hit him in his belt. Okay. 11 there is really good. Hmm. Maybe it's better than I think. I still don't enjoy these ships all that much. But maybe it is better than I think. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. He'll HG on this mass. All right. He is getting fires pretty consistently, so... Fair enough, I guess, you know? <laughs> uh, okay. Our reload does help us here. Let's uh, use a damage control. Very good. Uh-huh. Oh no, Kremlin. I do have to turn out here. Uh, I don't think I live otherwise, so we'll see what happens. Yeah, he does get it. And the insta fire. Yep, alright, so we're dead. Feels kind of bad. Feels bad. Ah, the double right away. <laughs> you can see how the tankiness is misleading. I don't think 2.3 million potential damage tells the story here. This this is a very, very squishy ship. And yeah, sure, I was broadside to a Kremlin, sure, but uh, Kremlin at range, not very accurate. These ships also have some turtle back. Um, but yeah. I don't know. I don't know. You guys left, let me know in the comments. Um, outside of just requesting the next ship, Really don't like these things all that much, and that's why I've really never gone to buy the Aegir for uh, free XP. And I think now that this ship is available for coal, um, it's maybe even less valuable, since there's so many good coal ships, and personally I don't really find these, again, all that interesting. We'll try and flank here. This is probably where this ship should be good, no carrier in this one to worry about, so... Using our concealment here to push up, you know, applying some pressure on this Don Squoy if he does turn out is the idea here. I guess we'll see if he does decide to fully turn out or not. But uh, the speed here allowing us to get to the flank quite quickly. Uh, if he does turn in, that's fine too, but he probably does end up dying then. Is this the turn now? We're just going to hang out. All right, he's stopping. Ah, there's a sub here, though. That's unfortunate. I suppose we should probably un understand that that's bound to happen. And I don't even have the range on these uh, ASWs to even go after them. Hmm. That feels like a uh, oversight on the design of those. But, uh, oh well. Don't square here. Gonna be forced broadside, not really sure what he's doing. But I guess we will allow it. That is actually gonna turn for me, isn't it? That is crazy. Hello, battleships? He's broadside to you. Please. 
See, I'm waiting. Like, I want the... I want to hit broadside, you know? All right, here's a broadside. Ah, oh, it's dark right away. Wild. Come on. Come on. There we go. So I'm hanging on to my shot because I'm really not going to do much damage here. Um, into a very angled ship. But... Ideally, we get broadside targets to go after, you know? Sharnwarst here. Alrighty. Broadside. Oh yeah, there's the torps. Good. Alright. The sub is back on us. The Massachusetts is shot. I think that means it's time to turn out. Actually, I'm going to rep. I don't want any of these torps homing in on me right now. And once we're angled away, the hope is going to be that we can dodge these. I don't know if that'll be possible. Turret Traverse, not really doing a great job here. Uh, but that's okay. We do get the Citadel. Feels pretty good. Massachusetts doesn't manage to uh, Citadel us back. That's very nice. And uh, yeah, now we run from the sub. <laughs> 30k to start. All right. Not bad. We might be able to go dark here soon. It's probably the DD spotting us. I know the sub could be, but odds are he's underwater, right? Hmm. Okay. Minnesota pushing a bit. Yeah, there's the sub. More than likely going after the Minnesota now. So we can turn in a little bit more again. A decent start here. Not great damage. Maybe I should be using HE more. I never really enjoy using German HE though, to be honest with you. Um, on heavier ships like this. They, uh... They struggle a bit. But you know what? Let's do it. Oh, let's not eat these. We're good. So I didn't wait for the uh, broadside of the mass. Let's swap over to the HE. Let's see what we can do here. Ooh, Minnesota. Very nice. But that is the idea behind waiting. When you have one shot only. <laughs> you take that one shot very carefully. I guess we could YOLO this Massachusetts. We do have Torps. I haven't mentioned that yet, but you do have 6km German Torps. Pretty standard the stuff, but uh, useful in a brawl, certainly. Assuming they stay alive. Yeah, we just didn't hit much there. Charnors does have Torps as well, to be aware of. Okay, a fire. What's a fire chance? 27? 27 and 3600 on the damage. Not great. Oh boy. We have been chosen. We must suffer. That is our role now. 4,000. Fortunately, we don't have Hydro up yet. That'd be nice. Those are trying to home in on us, man. It's crazy. Oh. Okay, we'll just miss at 9 kilometers. <laughs> that, you know, it happens. It happens to the best of us. Alright, back to AP if he's going to stay broadside. Massachusetts going a little broadside. Probably going to regret this. But hey, let's try it. Hydro. Do I have range? I don't have range still. And brutal. All right, Mr. Massachusetts. You know where to aim. You do not. There's the belt. The belt armor, guys. Feels good. Now, you don't usually want to go this broadside. 
But hey, we are. Citadels? Nah, no citadels. That's okay. I am going to angle all the way in. We might take some overmatch here, but it does allow us to get closer to our uh, other side of Torps. But we don't need it. And it gives a good example of uh, why 27 mil bow kind of sucks. So there we go. Fair enough, Mr. Massachusetts. Fair enough. As always, just outside of our ASW range. <laughs> uh, submarines. We love them in the game, don't we, guys? They're the best. Hey, let's go, Minnesota. We did it. They're very fragile. He died last out of a Sharnhorst, Massachusetts. <laughs> Oh, uh, man. I'm just messing around, guys. That's all sarcasm. I'm not a huge fan either. But hey, 87k is really not amazing at tier 9, but maybe maybe we're feeling okay about this game so far. Finally, we catch up with them. That took forever. 5,005 hits. Alright. Unfortunately, our Hydro's gone down at this point. But... We're here. I'm gonna stay bowing for now. Go undetected. Make a bit of a drastic turn, perhaps. Try and dodge his Torp Salvo. Torps that way. Casey decides to run. There's the Torps. One set, two sets. So now we know he has to turn around if he wants to land any more torps on us. Which he might be doing. We'll see. Two kilometer distance, of course. The assured detection range. Ah, oh, you did turn around. Well, I think he gets us, probably. Well, we trade. We tried. So, yeah. Um, I think I'm all, that's all I'm going to do for Aegir. 100k. Meh. It's alright. I... I don't know. Maybe this is, this is just a ship that's not designed for me, I think. I think that's probably what it comes down to. Um, it's alright. It's not great, though. Um, yeah, it's certainly not great. It's ex pretty expensive for coal, and I think there's a lot of other ships available for coal that are much, much, much better. Um, but hey, if this is what you're looking for, uh, there you go. Uh, this has been the ship request. I'll play the ships you guys want me to, want to see in the game. And uh, that means it's going to be ships that I don't play all that often. And it's good for me, actually. It gives me some more perspective on them. So I do like that. And again, let me know in the comments below what you want to see next. Upvote whatever you'd like. And yeah, I'll play whatever is the most upvoted next time. So thank you very much for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.